Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Football Million Pound Drop Football Edition. Each week a YouTuber will come on and try and win FIFA points for you guys at home. If you guys want the best team on FC24, don't waste your money on FIFA points. Head over to fifacoin.com and pick up the cheapest coins on the market. They're extremely fast, genuinely very reliable and they also cover the 5% tax. Use my code OZNOZ for an extra discount, link in the description. Each game has 8 questions. Questions 1 to 4 have 4 answers, questions 5 to 7 have 3 answers and the last question is a 50-50. It's the game where you have to put your money where your mouth is and put split your money on the answers which you think are correct. The twist is you have to leave one answer blank every single question. Will our YouTuber make through the game and win you guys 12,000 feet points? We'll have to wait and find out but today our guest is the wonderful Curbs. How you doing my friend? Uh, very well thank you mate. I'm, I'm in interested to see how far I can get today. Uh, yeah. Compared to everybody, uh, all the other YouTubers so far, and hopefully win some people at home some FIFA points. Oh, that's it. It is the uh, the start of the AFC. So those FIFA points, no matter how many, are valuable. Um, obviously, we got we did the uh, a thousand FIFA points for the last episode. Um, that would have been announced before this video has come out. Go check, uh, go follow my Twitter for those tweets when the giveaways are announced, and hopefully at the end of this there will be some more FIFA points up for. Grab all FC points, I believe they're now yeah. called. Um, but yeah, still still the same price, so it would be great for you guys to get them for free because they are honkingly expensive. Anyway, I think, without further ado, we'll get into this. Are you ready for question number one, Curbs? I am, mate, I am. Don't make it too hard. Please. I won't make it too hard. Also, guys, if you do enjoy, <laughs> make sure you hit a like for me and hit that subscribe button down below. The support on the first episode has been fantastic, so if we can keep that going... Unbelievable, but anyway, let's crack into it with number one. Question number one. Which manager hasn't won the Premier League with Chelsea? Is it A, Jose Mourinho, B, Antonio Conte, C, Gus Hiddink, or D, Carlo Ancelotti? Oh dear. So it's, three it's... of them have won the Premier League with Chelsea. I think it's definitely between... Hiddink and Angelotti for me. Obviously, Jose's definitely won it for Chelsea. Big Jose. So does Conte. Of course, it's a Chelsea question with, with you, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is, mate. I, I should have done some research before, beforehand. I was like, ah! Don't you worry, son. There'll be some, some United questions. I like to get the United ones in and Ooh. about that. Okay, no, that's, that's, that's probably the one that we're going to get wrong, isn't it? Yeah, more pressure. <laughs> yeah. Gus Hiddink or Angelotti? Is that Angelotti must have won the Prem? Surely he won the Prem with Chelsea. Don Carlo. And he was there. He must have been there for long enough. I can't remember the time period when he was a manager. That's the problem. So I can mm -hmm. remember I can remember hitting. I don't think he was there for that long. But did he come as an interim maybe for a little bit? Or was he there for long? I don't know. Ah! So annoying! <laughs> it is, it's so stressful when there's the option of putting a choice there. Because it just yeah. teases you. <sighs> okay, what I'm going to do, mate. I'm going to put... I'm going to split it a little bit. I'm so confident that Angelotti has won. Um, so the one that so I need to put the points on the one that hasn't, right? Yes. So I'm gonna put eight thousand points on Gus Hiddink and four thousand on Angelotti. Interesting stuff. Well, I can tell you that you were absolutely correct in the fact that Jose Mourinho and Antonio Conte have won the Premier League with Chelsea. And I can tell you, I think you should be more confident. Gus Hedding oh. did not win the Premier League with Chelsea. So we'll be going through with 8,000 points. And Carlo Ancelotti, honestly, in terms of playing styles, one of my favourite managers at Chelsea, the way he had Lampard, mm. Balak, those kind of guys, like the that midfield going, he really got the diamond midfield going. And it was unbelievable. And yeah, he did win us was, um, the Premier League. Was, was he just after Avram Grant or was he a bit later? I'm not going to lie, you know that, that period of the Chelsea manager, of like the Hiddink, the Angelotti, the Avram Grant? It all blurs into one. Like I just couldn't, because I'm not a Chelsea fan, obviously I don't remember yeah. it that vividly. I, I'm like, I just couldn't remember. I'd assume it'd be the early 2010s. Um, I would, yeah, I, I would have yeah. thought that as well. Do you know what was swaying me? The yeah. only thing I remember from Gus Hiddink was <laughs> when all the Chelsea players did like the... Kind of like the clapping for him as he was coming off the pitch for the final time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, is that because they liked him that much and he must have won a Premier League or something like that? Because obviously the Champions League was both Di Matteo and that. 
But yeah, absolutely. that's what was swaying me in my mind. But I should have just gone yeah. jugular on. No, that's the thing. Really. The 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 fact you can spread your answer is very tempting. But we have eight thousand points going to question two. Here we go. Question two: Which of these players scored their penalty in the two thousand and eight Champions League final? Okay. Obviously, between Man United That's lovely. and Chelsea. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Was it A, Cristiano Ronaldo, B, Carlos Tevez, C, John Terry, or D, Anelka? I'll have to put the whole 8,000 on Carlos Tevez, please, mate. Whole that one, I... eight <laughs> the whole 8,000 on Tevez. Because Ronaldo had missed. That's why he was crying on the floor a lot. Yeah. We uh, so I, I have to do this too. I was oh, we the don't. Love, do we? The lovely JT <laughs> slip that was oh, mm, chef's kiss. Yeah. And uh, of course the 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 very very famous Van der Sar saves it. United again. So Carlos Tevez. The thing is that isn't fam- That's probably like the first time I've ever heard that. And, like that's not famous really? to me. That quote. Well, I, oh yeah. Well, it's probably one of those that you, like a mental block. But amongst United fans, yeah, that's that's yeah. Ve- like a very very popular one. Yeah, well, obviously you are correct with 8,000 on Tevez. We're carrying through 8,000 to question number three. Um, Yeah, also a lot of people think that that John Terry, like a lot of people don't know about the Anelka penalty. They think the John Terry slip was the like losing uh, penalty. uh, No, that that was the one that you you should have, well, you should have won it really. Yeah, that was to to do it. To win the Champions League, yeah. Yeah, so jarring. But anyway, great for you. 8,000 through to question number three. Question number three. Which nation won the 2004 Euros? Was it A, Portugal, B, Greece, C, Italy, or D, France? Okay, I'm pretty sure, I'd, before you said the answer, I'd mimicked Greece. Because I thought, ah, that was the year that they did it. Because obviously 2000 was France, if I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. 2004 was in Greece. 2008 was Spain, I think. Yeah, I think that was that, and that was that period of dominance, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So 2004, I'm going to put the whole 8,000 on Greece, please. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, that is correct. We have got 8,000 through two. Question four. Yeah, I thought that was probably one of the easiest ones, but it's one of those yeah. ones that sometimes if you under the lights, under the well. camera... Yeah. You just it might slip your mind. Um mm-hmm. but anyway, fantastic stuff. We are cruising through to the halfway mark with 8000 points. Let's get into it. Question number 4. Who has won the most Ballon d'Ors in a row? Is it A, Cristiano Ronaldo? Is it B, Pele? Is it C, Michel Platini or D, Lionel Messi? Oh, that's harsh. Oh, that's harsh in it. Oh, for Jesus Christ. Okay. I feel like the uh, the question before was Just, kind of yeah. easy to compensate. It was nice to compensate for this one being absolutely horrendous. Okay. Four Messi players. was the one that I thought in my head beforehand, but mm-hmm. I was also thinking Pele as well. Ronaldo was 09, and I think Messi did three in a row. But then the likes of Platini and Pele. Because Pele must have at least four or five. Okay. I don't... I don't it can't be... I don't think it's Cristiano. He gets robbed of it every year. <laughs> Get you some engagement with that one. Yep, thank you. Um, <laughs> on the TikTok. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, God, this one's so, so difficult. Are there any people that you're just getting off that list? I don't think it's Platini. I don't know why, but I just... In the back of in the back of my head, obviously, this is all in the heat of the moment. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, what can you remember? Platini, obviously, won it, but... The thing is, I think I can disregard Platini, so I think I can get through to the next question. But... It's if I go a little bit lucky and like, oh, do I just miss out Pele or do I miss out Ronnie? Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What are we going to do? I think, mate, we're going to... Well, I've got 8,000 points, don't I? Yes. So, I think my most likely answer is going to be Messi. So, I'll put 4,000 on him. I'll then put 2,000 on Cristiano and 2,000 on Pele. That could come back to bite me in the backside, though, because I don't know if the Ballon d'Or existed that far back to the 60s. And it might have been like UA for best player or whatever it was, right? Indeed. I don't know if it's Ballon d'Or. Would you like to submit 2,000 for Ronaldo, 2,000 for Pele, and 4,000 for Lionel Messi? Yes. Okay. Interesting stuff. I can tell you straight away 
that Pele has never won the Ballon d'Or on my list. God, it wasn't called that. Goes oh, back to 1956. Okay. Um, yeah. Indeed. What I can tell you is... Platini definitely won one. Platini has won two? three in a row. He did do three in a row. Wow. He did. One, can, one of Cristiano or Messi must have won four. I can in a tell row you four. that Ronaldo has only ever won two in a row. Two in a row. Picture of Messi. Is it with three Ballon d'Ors or is it four? But I can tell you that Lionel Messi, the goat, my goat, <laughs> oh, forgot. has, oh, of course has got, got that in as well. Has got four in a row. Oh, so we're going to be taking four okay, thousand nice. in okay. two. Yeah. Question number five. I mean. Fair enough. It, it, four thousand into uh, the last four is like decent, but it's, it's decent. just so. The tough. thing is, I should have had more though, because I was going to go six on Messi and two on Ronaldo. Yeah, at, like, I thought you were level, do that but as well. the gut for the Pele was like yeah. it depends because I didn't know if the Ballon d'Or went back that far, which absolutely now obviously I know it didn't, but yeah. just on the off chance that it did, and or it does count towards the mm -hmm. that award, it's like there you go, yeah. but. Well, fair enough. Into question five with 4,000 FIFA points. Which of these managers has won the Premier League Manager of the Month with four different clubs? Jesus Christ. A, Harry Redknapp. B, okay. Martin O'Neill. Or C, Rafa Benitez. Down to three answers here. Has won with four different clubs? The Premier League Manager of the Month with four different clubs, yeah. Does Rafa even manage four different Premier League clubs? Because it's Liverpool, Newcastle, Chelsea. Am I missing somewhere else? Martin O'Neill, Villa. God knows where else. My knowledge of him is not fantastic. <laughs> and who was the first one? Uh, Harry Redknapp. Oh, big Harry. He's big, big Harry. So Spurs, Portsmouth. Christ. Probably loads of other teams as well. Um. Oh, that's very difficult. But I this one's real. Oh, sorry, go on. I can tell you that the, the <clears throat> two that haven't haven't managed four different clubs. I didn't. I thought that might, might have been the case. Ah, oh, dear. And I thought Rafa Benitez didn't manage more than three in the Prem. Because that that that's the three obvious ones, and it? it's Newcastle, Chelsea, and Liverpool. Obviously, you won't say yes or no to that. But I I don't. I think he's managed anywhere else. So you know what? I'm gonna com well semi confidently disregard him. Martin O'Neill or Harry Redknapp? Martin O'Neill. I don't remember him anywhere else other than Villa. I think he might have had a stint at Sunderland, but whether that was in the Premier League or not, I don't know. I don't think so. Right. I've got four thousand points left. What I think I'm gonna do. This could be very very ballsy, but I think I've got to do it. I'm gonna put three thousand on Harry Redknapp. And I'm going to put 1,000 on Rafa Benitez just on the off chance I've done goofed and I've forgotten somewhere that he's managed. I don't think it's Martin O'Neill. If I can't remember more than one club that Martin O'Neill has that's managed. That is a, that's a flawless logic, to be fair. Um, like, right, locked in. In my brain, that seems perfect, but could be very wrong. But yes, I would like to go for that, please. Fantastic. Well, I could tell you you're correct. It's not Martin O'Neill, although I believe he has managed two or three teams. Um, actually, I, can't, I can't remember anywhere except for Villa. I'm not gonna like the, the acorn I. sponsor days. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, God, that was such a throwback. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you the manager who has won Prem Manager of the Month of four different clubs is Mr. Harry Redknapp, an unbelievably impressive, uh, impressive kind of. What were the What were the clubs? Because I, I, I'm pretty sure he'd done what Tottenham, Tottenham, Portsmouth, Portsmouth. QPR, one of them. Uh, yes, I think it would have been QPR. Um, and then and I, I, I don't know, I don't know, teams. I don't know, but where else? Um, maybe it might have been West Ham. That's a good shout, actually. Yeah, West yeah, because he's he's got one, Bournemouth, yeah. West Ham, Portsmouth, Southampton, Spurs, QPR, and Birmingham. Some of them not in the Prem, but oh uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it would have been uh, in in some of those, but yeah, very impressive, nevertheless. Somewhat an underrated manager in different parts Absolutely. of his career, for sure. Um, but yeah, that means we're going into question number six with 3,000 FIFA points. Let's do it. Question number six. Who is the youngest player to make a Premier League appearance? Is it A, Reese Oxford for West Ham? Is it B, Luke Shaw for Southampton? Or is it C, Ethan Nwaneri for Arsenal? 
Brilliant. Don't even know what the last one is. Fantastic. Oh, these are all going to be like 17 years and 343, 346, or 348 days or something stupid like that, isn't it? I think, oh, if I'm honest, I think the answer is like... Oh, is it quite blaringly obvious? It's like he he, he was young. The others, the other two were young, but yeah, I think we've kind of got like a 17, 16 and 15 sit split here in terms Jesus. of ages. Yeah, that's a bit mental, isn't it? What, what was the third name? Uh, Ethan Nwaneri. N-W-A-N-E-R-I. Nwaneri. To play in the Premier League as well. Oh, see, that's it's such a throw off because I don't know who that is. All the Arsenal fans are like, oh my God, it's so obvious. How do you not know who this person is? Um, I believe it was in the last season or two where uh, Ethan Waneri was brought on. Uh, and then obviously the Luke was ages ago. Reese Oxford probably five, six years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Luke Shaw would have been, what, 2013 probably when he burst onto the scene? Yeah, something like that. Oh dear. Okay. Um, for me, it's between. You know, I think Oxford was about seventeen. I don't know why, but I think it's between Shaw and the Arsenal fella. So I think I'm gonna. Because Reese Oxford went to the Bundesliga about two years later. I think, mate, I'm gonna go split the FIFA points again between. Oh, I've changed my mind last second. Between Reese Oxford and the third answer. Just a bang split down the middle, 1,500. Yeah. Okie dokie. And we're locking that in, correct? Yeah. Um, I can tell you that the answer straight up is Ethan Nwaneri uh, of Arsenal. Oh, okay. uh, I nice. believe he was in the late 15s, early 16s. Um, and yeah, he came on for the last 10 minutes, I believe, for an Arsenal game. Or maybe even the last minute, yeah. actually, of extra time. Oh, wow. Um, and, just to get yeah. that first appearance on the board. Yes, it, no, because there was it was that classic story where it was like the next week he was doing his A levels or something, um, uh, or maybe right, it was GCSEs okay. actually uh, at that age. Um, oh, yeah. And then I can't remember which pundit it was, but I think it, it was one of the grumpy ones, like Sunes or something. He basically okay. said that Arteta was being a bad manager by bringing him in. Because by playing in the Premier League, you raise your profile and put so much pressure on you. And you shouldn't do that to a 15-year-old. Which I think is nonsense. I think Absolutely, get the players yeah. a Premier League appearance as soon as possible. So they can just get used to it. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that. But we're going into uh, the last two questions with 1,500 FIFA points. And I'm not going to lie. I think the last two you could do. So there is still okay. FIFA points on the line, let's get into question number seven. Which of these English players hasn't won a World Cup Golden Boot? Is it A, Michael Owen, B, Gary Lineker, or C, Harry Kane? Well, Harry Kane won one uh, in Russia. That's fine, I could disregard him immediately. Michael Owen and who was the second one? Gary Lineker, the crisp man himself. Oh, big Gaza. The only time Owen would have probably done it is wait did we even did we oh no it's your end today isn't it that we didn't get to on it it would have been around kevin keegan for 2002 and then 2006 would have been like rooney and crouchy and that because i think owen might have had an injury then but the only time owen might have done it was 2002 but i think that was dominated by like brazil or france that might have been like Henri or ronaldo oh baby i am gonna go full jugular mate I love that. And I'm going to say the player that hasn't won a golden boot, Michael Owen. You locked in? Yeah. Not okay, okay. You know. Locked in. I can tell you that Harry Kane, of course, recently did it at Russia. Love that from you, Harry. Yeah. And the oh, person no. who held the record for the first person to win a golden boot as an English player was Mr. Walker's himself, Gary Lineker. Oh, so Michael that. Owen, Christ. <laughs> I think Michael Owen had only ever scored like two or three at a World Cup. Uh, yeah. Gary Lineker got six uh, goals and that got on the golden boot. <laughs> and Kane got, I'm not even sure how much it was. I think it was made more eight, seven or eight. Eight or nine, I think. Yeah. Because yeah, he got um, the four against Panama or something, wasn't it? Absolutely. So the thing that that means is we're up to a fantastic 50-50 to see if... Um, Curves can win you guys 1,500 FC points. Let's get into that last question. 
Question number eight, and we love to do the last question based on the team the guest supports. Oh, no. So here we go. <laughs> Which French United player has yeah. scored more Premier League goals? Oh, Christ, no. Is Why it A, fly? Louis Saha? Yeah. Or B, Eric Cantona? Oh, of course you put Eric in there. Why not put Martial? I know <laughs> it then. Oh... So we Is there any got... instinctive, like... My oh. instinct would be Cantona, but they both weren't here for that long. So Just, it's not I Premier think... League goals for United. It's overall Premier League goals. It's overall Premier as well. League goals. Because obviously Cantona goes back to Leeds and Saha had Fulham, then had Everton. Oh, I don't know why I want to say this, but... I'm going with Louis Saha. I think, I think he's played in the Premier League for longer. 1,500 on Louis Saha. Yeah. I can tell you that the goals were roughly around 55 compared to about 72. And it is Louis Saha oh, who has gosh. scored the most. Congratulations, yeah. Curbs. Let's you go. You have done the best of anyone on the series. And most importantly, you've won the people FC points, which is un. Believable. So, guys, head to my Twitter in the description. There will be a tweet uh, pinned to the top of my Twitter where you guys, all you need to do is follow me and Curbs, retweet, and then you'll be up for a chance of winning these 1,500 FC points, which would be fantastic for the start of the new FC. Thank you very much for coming on, Curbs, and congratulations on your victory. Absolute pleasure, mate. Good fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.